Okay, as I've shown in many videos, when you look, uh, this is a magnet. The south shows green, the north shows red. When you look at a magnet from the south side, the magnetic field of the whole magnet is rotating to the right. However, when you look at it from the north side, the whole magnet's rotating to the left. So it just depends on how you're looking at it. And from this way, it's rotating, you know, away from you on the left and towards you on the right. And if you flip that over, it's rotating towards you from the left and away from you on the right. So it's all one rotation, as I've shown before. But it just depends on your perspective of how you're looking at the rotation of the magnet, which way it perceives to be rotating, okay? So that's what this part's going to be about, and we'll move on. Okay, this is my setup for this little demonstration. I'm going to use some coils here. I've got an 18-volt battery, and the red uh, clip here is the positive going to the front of the coils. Then goes through the coils, the current does. It comes out the back into my switch, which grounds it to the negative. So if you see that, the coils are going to be, uh, the electricity is going traveling from us, away from us. Starts here with us and goes away from us. And what you want to notice here is the red coil on the right is right hand wound. It's like looking at the south of a magnet as the electricity goes through it. On the left, we have a left wounded. The black is left wounded. So I'll show you the arrows that show that. Just a second, if you can bear with this. The right handed has got an arrow going this way, right hand wind. The left hand has a left hand wind. So these are opposite wound. One goes that way, and this one goes that way. Okay? So that's the setup for this little demonstration I'm going to show, is the polarity of the coils of how this works. And we'll move and do that. So this should be a south, like the magnet, a magnet shows, rotation to the right. And since the current's going in, it's going to show a south. You can see my pole finder, and I energize, it shows a south. Now, on the other side, which is left-hand wound, where the current's going in, it's going to show a north. So that's your difference, is the direction of rotation, not only for magnets, like this shows, but it's the same thing for a coil. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but back here, since this is south, that is north, and since this is north, this will be south, if you can see. So since the coils are wound opposite, we have a south-north, and a north-south, just like magnets. It's like you're looking at the south north end of a magnet on the left-hand wound coil, and you're looking at the south side of a magnet on the right-hand wound coil. And that's what these steel uh, cores inside, so you can really see what the uh, pole finder shows. Because if I move the coils, or the, uh, the cores from the coils, the pole finder will not find a pole. If you see, it's not strong enough of a magnetic field to find the pole. So what I'll do is use a magnet. And I'm going to put it sideways, south that way, north this way, in front of the south wound coil. And if you notice, when I hit the current to it, and I'm going to hit it now, it pulls the north to it. So it's the south pole pulling the north pole. As you all know, all magnets go opposite poles towards each other. And if I move over to the left wound, which would be a north towards us, it should pull the south over, which it will. And energize, it pulls the south. So even without the cores inside, the coils are still showing a fairly strong magnetic field inside, let alone outside also. So it's just reverse of each other. These two are reverse of each other. When I energize them the other way, just this side will turn up on that side. And it's just like turning the magnet around, depending on which way you energize it. Okay, before we use the coils, I want to show with the magnet here, which is just a regular neodymium N42, north, red, and south, green. 
is that we all know that, you know, this is brass, doesn't stick to a magnet, no stick. Copper doesn't stick to a magnet, but they're electrically conductive. But steel is also electrically conductive, but it's magnetic. And the reason is the number of electrons that it has, or the number of atoms within each, or protons within each atom. But what I want to show here is, is like Ken Wheeler and some people say that like a magnet is, the, the center of the magnet is zero point gravity, zero point dielectric, or whatever you want to call it. It's just a nothing there. It goes to nothingness. But I say it's a cancellation of the electric current. Gravity is an electrical phenomena, and steel is what steel, cobalt, certain metals are the ones that are magnetic, but they're also conductive. They have to be both, and it's a few elements that do that. But I want to show what the magnet is. Both sides pull in equally. You know, it's it's on there. They're on there. Nothing special about it. I mean, as far as they're both identical, but they're both pulled towards each other. And you say, you know, there's a zero point gravity in the center that's forcing that, then it's pushing it in or pulling it in, however you they describe it. I say it's electrical conduction. The magnet, I've shown the rotation in several videos. It's rotating, but it pulls it straight in. They don't rotate because it's <laughs> such a quick movement. It just goes through the steel to the magnet and it doesn't spin the magnet either. So it's the ether, the vibrating electrical charge of the ether vibrating and rubbing friction is what causes the electron function. It's an electron, it's electric. But I wanted to show this because a coil does the same thing. So if we move this out of the way, and I remove the steel from the magnet, and we keep it there, and I've showed the rotation, so now I've got my coil set up from left to right instead of front to back. So we'll be energized from left to right. So unless you need me to show you, the right-hand wound coil will be south to north if it's energized that way. The left-hand wound, co left wound coil will be north to south energized that way. And if I reverse the ener energy going from this side in, the poles just reverse on both coils. This would be south over here, north over there, and this would be north over here and south over here. But anyway, we're going from left to right with energizing. My point on this is we know that if I put copper or brass inside there, just like the magnet here, let me show the magnet, just like the magnet, it's not going to do anything to it. However, when you put the steel inside the coil, these little pieces on each end, like so, and if you watch the pieces, I'm going to energize it with my, let me show you, I've got my switch back here, I'm going to energize this front, well, both coils will energize at the same time, but when I energize with the steel in the, in the right-hand wound coil, you know, hang on a minute, let me get it in there, so you can see the steel on each end, two pieces, two different pieces, I'm going to energize at one, two, three, energize. It pulls both sides to the center, just like the magnet does. To the to the magnet, it pulls pulls them towards each other inside the coil. And I'll show you also on the left hand wound. I think you can see both pieces of steel. When I energize it, whoops, that one fell out. If you can see both pieces of steel on the left hand wound coil, if I energize it, it pulls them to the center. It doesn't matter. It's just reversing your north and south. However, the coil is a little different than the magnet because the magnet itself is pulling in ether electric charge, which is the electron function of the atoms. This has been forced to go in from both sides and meet at the middle, and it does cancel out in the middle. Each side cancels the other out in a normal gravity. That's why the, the equatorial plane between the poles doesn't have near the pole. It's rotating around it, but it doesn't have the pull like the ends do, the poles. And that is the same thing that the coil is doing. The coil is, as the current moves through, and it's rotating and pulling in, it's pulling the ether, the charge of the ether, into the coil on the energized side. 
However, on this side, the, the current's coming out, but the ether can't come out. It does not want to leave any open zero space. It always wants to balance out both sides the same. So as the current moves through the coil on this side, inside the coil, it's pulling the ether charge in, the magnetic field. It's the same thing the magnet's doing. The magnet pulls it in, so does the coil, only when electricity is going through the rotation of the coil. However, on the north side or the output side, whether it's north or south pole, depending on the winding of the coil and the direction of movement of the electric current or uh, conduction, this side, as the current comes out and tries to pull the ether out, it can't. The ether gets pulled back in to match the other side, inside the coil. That's why it goes back in. And only conductive and magnetic materials follow suit with that. Anything else, plastic, copper, brass, does not even uh, work with the magnet, let alone a coil. So it's pulling the charge of the ether towards itself inside the coil to balance because it's trying to force it to go through it and it does not do that. The charge of the ether and the ether particles do not do that. They want to they want to go back to zero. So they cancel each other out inside the coil. The same thing that the magnet naturally does without an electric current. That's what I'm saying is gravity is an electric phenomena. A magnet naturally causes the acceleration and rotation of gravity. However, in a coil, the coil, the current moving through the rotating coil induces the magnetic current that the magnet naturally has, okay? Because as soon as I take the charge, the electricity, the current, I cut the current off, the magnetic field dies. So that's my take on it. The electric charge of the ether is counterbalancing itself inside the coil even though the current's moving in one direction. Gravity is an electric phenomenon.